My name is Samantha Jones. I'm 37 years old, um, and I have Schuerman's kyphosis and mild scoliosis. Um, I was diagnosed with the Schuerman's kyphosis when I was 12. Um, so I was given a Milwaukee brace at the time, but then my dad got stationed in Germany. The brace got broken by the airline, um, and with the part of Germany we were moving to, there was nobody there that could fix it. Um, so I just kind of went through life with no treatment. And then when I hit about 30, um, I hit like a pretty rapid decline, like quickly of um, just pain, uh, constant pain, um, struggles to like lose weight, uh, d you know, socially gather with friends, things just because you're in a constant state of pain. Um, my kyphosis and scoliosis was actually found when I was I could have been younger. Um, I, I want to say I was in the fifth grade, and this is back when elementary schools used to do screenings for scoliosis. Um, I think had I had the opportunity to uh, get follow through early on preventative care, I probably wouldn't be 37 sitting here with, you know, majority of my spine fused at this point. I was told by two separate orthopedic surgeons that I was too young to get surgery. Um, and that if they did surgery, I would have to get another surgery in 20 years. Um, so I ended up doing seven years of narcotic pain management. I ended up doing three nerve ablations. I ended up with doing like 30 facet injections, like just treating arthritis. And I think if primary care doctors, orthopedic surgeons, or more knowledgeable about spinal disorders in general. When you're 20, 25 years old, and you're being told no by a medical professional, I mean, I don't have the wherewithal to tell them that they're wrong, or I don't know that I need a second opinion. There's not a lot of information out there about Schuerman's kyphosis. So really all the information that you find in the communities is really about people just suffering.